What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the big update that just came to the Google Pixel Fold. It's on their beta right now, so you might not be able to grab it unless you're on the beta. Eventually you will. But I've had the Google Pixel Fold since its inception, which has been months now. I think it was like two or three months it's been out at this point. And uh, I just recently left or stopped making it my primary phone and I switched to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And I left because of the fact that the Pixel Fold didn't have the ability to stretch out apps or make apps seem full screen so that you would open up some apps. So you'd have an app like this, Instagram, and it would have the black bars on the left and on the right completely cut off. You could go like this and it would almost be full screen, but it wasn't quite full screen. This is a really wide display. Well, the newest update that came out allows it to go completely, completely full screen on any app that I want, or I can change it to you know, be half the screen or leave it the way that it is. So I'm going to walk you through that on how you do it and how it looks. And then at the end of this video, I'll let you know my thoughts and if it's enough to make me come back to the Google Pixel Fold. All right, so here's a Google Pixel Fold. As you know, Instagram is not full screen. This is the way that it looks. And again, you can go like this or this, but if you tap the screen, Sometimes you have to go like this. There should be like a little resize or sometimes there's not. So there's not. So the thing what you can do is you can swipe down from the top. You can go into settings. And then while you're in settings, you can go into apps. While you're in apps, you're going to see a aspect ratio now. It says choose an aspect ratio to view this app if it does not fit the designed screen of your fold. So we click on that. And you can tap this, you can do all apps or suggested apps. I just leave it as suggested apps because it's not really a big deal. And then you go into, we'll go into Instagram, for instance. We can search for it at the top here instead of scrolling through all those apps. And I see Instagram here. And I can do a multitude of things. I can go full screen on it. I can go half screen. Or I can go on four by three aspect ratio. So we'll just put it at full screen because Galaxy Z Fold 5 has it at full screen and I'm gonna swipe up to go home. I'm gonna open up the app again. It refreshes automatically, you don't have to do it. And now you can see it's completely full screen if I'm using it in this direction, orientation I should say, should say, or this orientation. So it takes up the full screen, which can be pretty cool to, to be able to see this. I have to admit, I, it is one of the reasons I left. And if I watch something, you can see it's pretty good. It cuts it off a little bit when you're really trying to view it, but not too bad. If I'm playing a video, this is like a, not going to be a big video, but there's the video and that. Some other apps that weren't full screen on the Pixel Fold were apps like X or Twitter, if you want to call it that. And here you go. And you can see I have had this resize, so I can come in here. I can look for Twitter again. Let's just pull it up. Actually, it's going to be under X. I always forget. So here we go. It's set to full screen and it's, oh, well, it's already, and you can see it, it, it is full screen for the most part. Um, it's still not making this go all the way across the screen like a, tr a traditional phone would. If I put it like this, it looks a little bit better. So, you know, it's not completely perfect. So those two apps, you've seen them, Twitter and Instagram. I'm gonna show you what they look like on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. So on the Z Fold 5, um, you have this over here, little menu system, and you can look through it. For some reason, I don't see it on my Greggles TV one, but on my son's, I do see it. It's weird, but this is the way it looks. Um, and I can see the full screen. You can't rotate it, but it looks awesome. It's the, the, the picture is the whole thing. You can see the whole picture basically on here. Here it is on the Pixel Fold. Here it is on the Z Fold 5. I have to admit, I like the way it looks better on the Z Fold 5. It's more full. It's a bigger picture too as well. And now you could say, we'll hold it like this. And you can see it does get to the same size on here. And it does look more lifelike, but you have the phone rotated, which is kind of unfortunate in a way, I think. Um, it just makes it a little bit more uncomfortable to hold because now your buttons for this are on the bottom and the Z Fold 5, you can just always keep in this orientation. Here's what stories look like on here. I'll just flip it. And again, you have to, if you flip it, they look very similar. But when you have it in its normal orientation, it's a little bit smaller. Here's X in its normal orientations. When you flip it, it looks a little bit more 
life to size, but I still prefer it on the Z Fold 5. I don't have to rotate it. And I don't know, I just do. I don't wanna to have to rotate this, you know, especially if I have to deal with the buttons and reaching the buttons at the bottom, the Z Fold 5 in this orientation is a little bit better. But you know, this isn't awful, at least I can make it full screen now. Now here's Yelp. You can also just go into the app. So if you press and hold and then go to info, let me go back in there and go to info. You'll see that you have a aspect ratio on here within each app. So you don't have to go to that section in settings to get there in apps. You can just press and hold on the app, go to aspect ratio and do the same thing. So here's Yelp and maybe we want to do it four by three. We'll go back into Yelp. You'll see it'll refresh automatically. I won't have to do anything. So it looks basically the same. I don't really notice a, a huge difference. So I'm gonna switch it to full screen. Go full screen and see if that changes it at all. And there you go. Yeah, so this this doesn't actually look too, well, let it load up. This actually is, is, is kind of nice to be able to have it in full screen. In basically any orientation, you can see the bezel's pretty big on, around there. So that's really what's cutting it off. But yeah, not too bad as a full screen. So the things that come to mind with this update are, why wasn't this in the beginning here with this phone? Because you gotta imagine that they've known about making a Google Pixel Fold for years. And this feature has been in Samsung Galaxy Fold phones for years now. That's not a new feature. So why wasn't it always in? It doesn't seem like it's that hard to develop that feature when it's already in other Android phones. And all it is is just resizing the app. It's it's like a, it's almost like a band-aid in a way for certain apps that aren't optimized for this type of screen. The other thing that is kind of weird to me is this is a really, really wide phone. It's great for multitasking, but when you stretch some apps out, especially not having to rotate the phone, that's when it becomes a little bit awkward because it's so wide, the app just kind of looks weird. Like I mentioned Yelp and it brings up the whole screen, which is cool, but it's like so much this way, but I want more that way at this point because that's what, so I can see all this menu stuff at the bottom there. So it's weird, you know, I, it's one of the things I loved about the phone in the beginning is like how wide it is because you can do a lot of stuff with it. But then like when you actually use it over time and then you go back to the phone or the style of phone that you had been using before, you realize that Samsung's pretty much onto something with this inside display. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense using it, this aspect ratio. Um, I still don't like the outside display, I barely use it, but the inside display is 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 really smart. It makes a lot of sense. It makes it so that the apps, if you do stretch them out, aren't so wide and kind of weird in a way. So as much as I love the uh, Google Pixel Fold update that allows you to change the aspect ratio of apps, it's still not perfect. It's, it's way better than it was. I probably, let's be honest, if I had gotten this update before I had switched back to the Z Fold 5, there's a high probability I probably would have just stuck with this update. But now that I've gone back full time to the Z Fold 5, there's some things popping up that I like about the Z Fold 5, like minor things. And I'm starting to make that list and I'll do a video on it. Like, I'm not talking about like, oh, it's such a great phone because it has this. It's like little stupid things. Like, I'll, and I'll go on, I'll talk about it in a future video. Um, but yeah, cool update. Thank you so much, Google, for pushing this update out. It's a great update to have. It was a big update. It was like almost 800 megs. So once, once this fully launches, the uh, Android 14 update for the Pixel Fold, you guys will just automatically get it. You won't even have to wait, but this is for the beta. So it should be coming out very, very soon. Let me know your thoughts. If you have a Pixel Fold and you downloaded this update and you've been playing with the aspect ratio, how do you like it? Do you not? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.